Hello everyone and welcome to this video guideline on close, the close analysis essay. Uh, this is 15% of your grade and it is a essay that is has a 1000 word length requirement. And just to clarify, you have the choice for this assignment to do the close analysis or the quote analysis. These instructions cover the close analysis and you can check out the quote analysis video guidelines to clarify about them. So this is an, uh, this assignment has two parts. The first is identifying the selection, and you would post this to the discussion board labeled "Close Analysis Quote Analysis Selection" in the appropriate folder on Angel. And then, of course, you would post the actual paper to the Close Analysis Quote Analysis Dropbox in the, in the appropriate folder on Angel. So just like the article analysis, this has a two-step process. Now, what is this essay, or what what is the crux of this essay? Uh, basically, students are going to choose to provide a close analysis of any of the fiction up through Module 10. Uh, so this is largely fiction writing, between, so Modules 9 and 10. Uh, and this close analysis should rely heavily upon the analytical tools and ideas presented during the first two-thirds of the course. Uh, students will discuss, analyze, and explore the thematic and symbolic underpinnings of a specific writing. Uh, the goal is to analyze the text to identify how the larger meaning can be identified through the use of written word, scene setting, dialogue, and subtextual elements of the work. So you're basically just giving your own in-depth analysis of one of the, the fictional readings in the course. So there are three parts to this assignment. The first is choosing the fictional text. The second is rereading that text. And the third is writing about the text. So part one, choose the fictional text. These are some recommendations I encourage for students. Uh, the first is that they should be actively looking for writings as they are reading the material. So as you're reading uh, the different fictional material in the course, you should be thinking about which ones really resonate with you and you feel um, would, make good, would make a good selection for this essay. Students must use fiction from the modules 9 and 10. Um, Make sure you find a writing that resonates with you. Um, appreciate appreciate the the writing, the the worth of the writing. Appreciate and be comfortable with the writing. Don't choose something because you think is a good idea. Choose something that you feel you have a good grapple over that you you want to write about. Uh, that's really important here. You don't want to write about something you don't like or you can't get into or you, something you don't understand. Write about things that really you feel like, wow, this there's so much I could write about this. And I should clarify, don't be afraid to write about something you don't like. Uh, if you read something that you don't like but you understand it and appreciate it um, and can really you know work with it, then work with it. Don't just don't just go with the stories that you enjoy. Uh, as I always say with these kinds of assignments, you really should be choosing the stories or choosing the writings themselves and not looking for answers elsewhere. Um, this really is about you sitting down with a story and kind of giving it your your full attention and analysis. And just to note, you can't use the primary text that you used for the article analysis. So what this means is for the article analysis, you're supposed to choose a academic article that was tied to a specific reading in the course. So you can't use your fixture you can't use your close analysis to then focus more on that particular text so if you're the if the article analysis that you did focused on if the article focused on Bartleby the Scrivener then you can't use Bartley Bartleby the Scrivener for this assignment the idea is for you to look at something else um, so please keep that in mind you can't you kinda can't get the two-for-one deal here alright so rereading the text uh, you want to be annotating the text, which you should be, uh, you know, as you get into it. But if you know this is the text you're going to be doing, you really want to annotate and, and play with the text and write on, you know, write or notate a lot. And you're looking for things such as important quotes, significant moments in the fiction, right? If something significant happens or if there's this this key piece that you feel is important, you want to be identifying that and just, you know, holding that in your head um, as you go through the story. You want to look for symbols. You want to look for things that are meaning or that you believe can mean something bigger. And for something like this, you want to make sure you look at the course videos and the in the actual, you know, even the face-to-face -face lectures um, 
to, to get a better grip grip around what symbols are and, and how they're used. Keep an eye out for themes and how those themes are present throughout a given story. You know, a good example, you know, if you're looking for themes and, and environment, you know, Edgar Allan Poe is certainly a, a good one to look at, as is Nathaniel Hawthorne. You want to be able to connect the text with other texts, course concepts, and discussions. So what I mean by this is if you do part one, you find important quotes, significant moments, symbols, themes, you want to kind of think of that together and understand or, or try to draw parallels, connections, meanings with other works in the text. I'm sorry, with other works within the class. You, you want to be able to really get, be able to, to make these connections so that we are talking about a network of, of different readings. And you want to reread it again. Um, you know, you, you want to reread probably you want the work that you're writing about at least twice, um, just so that you feel you've gotten everything. Because no matter how many times you reread something, you're never reading the same story because your understanding of it changes uh, with each reading. Especially if you're doing this kind of work, you read through it and you identify important quotes, significant moments, symbols, themes. Then when you read it again, all of those things are in your forefront and so you might see things anew. You might understand things differently. Uh, there's no book or short story that I ever read where I don't gain something new in the rereading. It's just some, uh, you know, some new element that I didn't realize was there. So writing about the text, uh, avoid retelling the story. Uh, in other words, I don't, th this essay shouldn't just be retelling the story. You probably do want to give a succinct summation of the story, a two to three sentence explanation, uh, you know, uh, no more than a paragraph of this is what the story, here's what the plot is about. Uh, but you want to avoid retelling the story. In fact, you know, Michael Drought, who I've talked about in other parts of this course, he, you know, he says this really well in that if you're telling me about plot, you're not doing analysis. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. Give a brief summation, and then from there, move into the deeper content. Students should identify major themes and specifically how the story presents these through setting, action, subtext, dialogue, etc. Uh, it's not enough just to say, oh, the story, you know, it, its major theme is death or its major theme is, you know, revival, uh, is awakening, is, you know, spiritual enlightenment. You really have to connect the dots. That's what this paper is about, is saying, here's what the story is about, and here are, here are the different ways in which that comes out. It comes out when the, uh, this author, or this, uh, this character says this, or it comes out at this moment in the story when, you know, the sun breaks through the clouds. You really want to, it's not enough just to say that they're there, you really have to show how they're there. Student, you, students need to use several of the theoretical and analytical discussions to reinforce their points. Um, and what I mean by that is either in the face-to-face -face course or in the videos uh, online around fiction, right, there's uh, five videos on introducing fiction. And you really want to use the tools there to better reinforce your points. Uh, you want to be able to really not just talk about you know, not just talk in generalities, but really draw upon specific ways that you're rendering the meaning. Students should also be linking their discussion um, of the fictional work with at least one other piece from the course. And this is an important one. Again, this is one of the harder parts of this assignment that where students have the most trouble with. But the goal here is you've provided this deep analytical discussion of a particular reading. Now you want to be able to make the link of what you've said here to some other reading. So you might be doing this as comparison, you might be doing this as contrast, but the goal is to do, after everything you've spent on the story, show us how your analysis could also be applied or could be understood if applied to another story that we've read. Um, again, this is, a, this is a tricky one, but this is an important one. This is what makes uh, 
this course or, or literature important is our ability to not just focus on one story but to connect the stories together to use intertext intertextuality to use uh, meaning making across stories into that larger you know as as Thomas Foster says that one story um, so be thinking about that and how you want to do that and, and that should be present within the writing all right that's all for the close analysis let me know if you have questions and thank you for watching